to the sound of cheese. <laughs> so how about it? Do you guys want to? Uh, you guys want to go snooping? You guys want to go look at people's uh, search history? I feel like it's time. Let's do it. We're clearance level six. Make my day better. <gasps> Aw, Ace. I'm sorry you're having a rough day, but uh, oh my gosh, brain! No! God, my my legs, my legs are they're they're absolutely destroyed. Oh no! Please, Breen, please, Breen. Oh. I feel, oh, I'm just, I'm absolutely, absolutely smothered. Okay, that, that's, oh boy, cheesy smacky. <laughs> oh no, please. Am I live? I, <laughs> Who's still shooting? She's down! It's over! I'm done, I'm alive. I'm alive. Wow. So alive. I've never felt more alive, even. <laughs> the stream has already been tops. We're we're starting off with some big energy, Taco. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, dra Dragon Cheese, what, what have I done? What have I done to offend, by the way? <laughs> Wizardcraft says, we've been trying to contact you, but your car's extended warranty. No, they found me again. Even on Twitch. Even on Twitch. <laughs> well, it, it, it does say Wizardcraft, though. Is it like a magical car warranty? If so, I might be interested. I mean, possibly. Miss the blue scarf. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, you found me because I'm too cute? Oh. Oh. Uh, well, I could... How can I fix this? How can I make this better? Oh. I know. Problem solved. Right? Not, not, now it's not too cute. You can, uh, you can rest your eyes. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Everything's fine. Everything's handled. And now Taco is offended. Okay, I'm coming back. You, you can't take your VTuber off the screen for more than 30 seconds. That's that's career suicide in Twitch world. <laughs> let me get some let me get some tea in me. Okay. Where were we? We were chasing the uh the cloud dw cloud dweller? I think his name was Cloud Dweller. And me even more when you left. Okay, there we go. We found the lesser of two evils then. <laughs> But welcome in, everybody. It's so good to have you here. Uh, let's see. Let's jump right in. Esther has something to say. Uh, she says, Russia had nothing to do with it. I don't know about that. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> At this point, I definitely would. In fact, they seem to have been victims of their own attack by the Cloud Dweller in Omsk. I wonder if I'm saying that right. Omsk. They just covered it up. That's what we're seeing. So where does that leave us? Square one, I guess. Or we could contact them, compare notes. Who knows what they have on the Cloud Dweller. The suspect also said something about having a Kenyan connection. Uh, won't the DOL need an international scope to follow that lead? Mm, interesting. Well, the powers that be have been talking about it. Uh, you may be onto something. Oh, almost forgot. Congratulations to both of you. I've been told you're ready for clearance level six. Oh, that's right. We always stop like right before a promotion. Hell yeah. We're in clearance level six now. Those antlers are looking good today. Thank you. They're extra shiny. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. Yeah. That's the good stuff. <laughs> uh, that's all kind of, that's kind of unceremonious. Keep it up and you'll be sitting in my chair in no time. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. That seems, like, weirdly sexual, though. Keep that up and you'll be sitting in my chair. Eyebrows, 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 eyebrows. <laughs> Extra shiny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I waxed him up today. Don't you worry. Ooh, it's a snack! Yo, check it out. Who watches the Watchmen? <laughs> it's, it's, it's an actual snack. Dragon Cheese wants to polish my antlers. Um... I'll allow it. <laughs> this is huge. Just this morning, we received word that our range has been expanded outside the United States. You will have access to other countries? Exactly. On a very short trial basis at first, but then permanently, fingers crossed. <laughs> How did that happen so quickly? 
That's all due to the information that we uncovered on the Grey Day investigation. Uh, support for the Eternal Liberty Act has stalled, but we got results, so we've been given provisional jurisdiction. Pretty nifty, huh? Uh, Eternal Liberty Act? The new bill Congress is debating. It's the one that'll give us permanent access to the international surveillance. I can't tell if you're being serious. Uh, hey, a farmer doesn't only read about corn in his spare time. <laughs> weird take, but okay. Yeah, but he checks the weather every now and then. Also, weird comparison. Okay, so no, it's not just me. Okay, she agrees. It's a weird one. <laughs> We've been speaking with the Russian German... Uh, Russian German. Yeah, you know, the the Russian-German government. You, you know, they, they've been collaborating over the past few uh, years, right? Possibly. <laughs> In this weird fictional future. We've been speaking to the Russian government about our respective attacks. Seems like we may have some common ground on this. It's a deer in 3D? Oh my gosh, 6-inch it is. What's up, Finch? How you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm three dimensions of glad to see you. <laughs> oh god! Oh, I got a concussion now. But much better. Much better. <laughs> now I can think clearly. Now we need a deer in 4D? Yo. What what would a deer in 4D even look like? Take some cheese for your troubles. Thank you. Thank you, Finch. <laughs> oh man. I uh 4D deer. Would I be like in smellovision? You're just gonna smell cheese and bergamot. Tesseract antler redeem when? Yo. That's a good idea. What? I, I I need a Tesseract antler. I'd be... I'd be unstoppable. <laughs> uh, they told us about the Kenyan connection to their Omsk attacks. Apparently Kenya's intelligence detected a very suspicious bank transfer from the bombers. To the bombers. Uh, they have a, a name, but they won't give it up without a favor. So that's where we come in. Oh, are, are, we're doing doing some stuff in Kenya now. Authenticate me. I feel like my password's getting longer every clearance level I move up. Ground scent, track poachers of endangered animals. What? Okay, sure. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Operation Ground Scent. Since our previous misunderstanding, the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service has shared data with us regarding the Omsk attack. Reliable sources have followed the money to a trail in Kenya. Kenyan intelligence claims to have important information with only trade in exchange for help tracking down buyers of endangered animal parts, and the trade is again growing rampant in the region. Use package tracking and contact of notorious poachers to track down rare animal traders. Yo. You need a plushie of you? Dragon cheese. I would love a, a little drip pop plushie. I mean, can you imagine having this little guy on your desk? Look at him. Oh, it'd be adorable. It, it, they'd sell like they'd sell like hotcakes. <laughs> uh one day. I don't know. I don't know who I would talk to to do that, actually. I'll figure it out. I'll look into it. <laughs> uh let's see, what are our rules for today? So we need to deep link if they bought a horn, skull, or ivory, and sent package through Mombasa, Nairobi, or Eldret Central. Also, we're going to Black Sheep. Any contact with A. Ganguli, uh, M. Mitros Mitroska, and C. Jimenez. Hmm. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Is that Wolfles? What's up, Wolfles? How you doing? Welcome on in. <laughs> it's good to see you again. We had drip plot plushie up by four hundred of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That'd be that'd be a lot of that'd be a lot of drip pop plushies. What would be the optimal size for a drip pop? Are we talking like he'd be the size of a uh like an orange or a football or a beanbag chair? <laughs> we're going we're going to merchandise drip plop, drip, drip pop. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You're sleepy but good. Oh, uh, you know what? K kind of same waffles. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit sleepy too. I stayed up a little bit later last night than I was expecting to. Um, but I'm having a good day. It's been fun. Uh, okay, so we are looking. Oh, we're getting my rules back. There we go. Let's get back into the swing of this, shall we? It's a sleepy day, right? Uh, let's see. We got Marie Carl 
Uh, 28, living in Liege, Belgium. He's a forester. Loves garbage sale. Garbage sale. <laughs> uh, she loves garbage sales, apparently. <laughs> you can tell I'm a little sleepy today. Garage sales. She loves garage sales. Uh, depending on your perspective, one and the same. Uh, likes to hug people as greeting, barely uh, cares about politics, and occasionally watches Antiques Roadshow. Hmm. Okay. All right. Just make a drip pop on everything. Soap, clothes, put them on a mug and a plate and shower. Oh my gosh, yes. Drip pop everywhere. Go home, drip your drunk. I'm, I'm drunk on a very spicy, very spicy cinnamon tea. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so check it out. We're looking for purchases of horn, skull, or ivory. Hey, here we go. Carved ivory statue. But it also has to be sent through Mombasa, Nairobi, or Eldoret. There's Nairobi, though. So let's go ahead and link these two. And this is ivory. Okay, and we also want contact with a Ganguli, which we appear to have right here. You should know I have no intentions of paying full price for this. It's four more scuff than the others you've sold. Hmm. Yeah, I think she's, like, super busted. I'm, we're, we're gonna arrest her. Drunk on coconut mocha coffee? Yo! Dragon cheese, that sounds really tasty. Coconut mocha coffee. Drunk on pumpkin spice tea? Wuffles, I actually have a pumpkin spice tea. It was not as good as I was hoping it would be. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for so much more. Uh, sashimi platter, remote control speedboat, elliptical machine, gilded ivory playing cards. That sounds like ivory to me. Did it go through Mombasa? It did. Check that out. Boom. Oh, jeez. That's that's a lot of... Tibbs! You fool! What have you done? Ah! Uh, oh, the butt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, uh... It's getting real... Getting real spicy down here, by the way. Wuffles, you too? Wuffles! Good God! There's too much! I, oh God, you're gonna overload me with cheese! No! <laughs> this is entirely too much cheese. You, do you have any idea how many cheeses this is? Oh god, the, the physics of the cheese is starting to collapse. You're gonna send me the freaking cheese dimension back here. Oh no, dads! Why? Ugh. No. I, I, it's, it's in my bones. The cheese is in my bones. Not in a good way. Oh god. Ow. My poor, broken, cheesy body. Oh. And there's, there, there is a butt. I'm trying to cover it up. Hold on. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to cover that up. Oh! Why? <laughs> One lingering, my, I, I'm like completely <laughs> scrungled. <laughs> you actually broke me that time. What the hell? That's a lot of freaking cheese. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And and one more for the road. Look at that. <laughs> oh boy. That was a that was a good one. <laughs> I haven't I hadn't had a cheese like that for weeks. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> oh, yo yo yo. Uh, she's talking about Elephant Tusk. <laughs> Pretty sure that's going to flag you. Wait, uh, Elephant Tusk is ivory, so that should work, right? It's Rez and Brynth! Oh my goodness. Check it out, I got head pets. Now I don't always have to be brutalized. Oh, thank you. Oh, I got head pet technology. I'm so happy. I can, I can get head pets now. <laughs> Look at too much cheese, you might not be able to go to the bathroom. <laughs> It's gonna it's gonna ruin me for a whole freaking week. I, I'm telling you, you don't have to be, but you will be. I you, mm, it's true. yeah yeah it's true. That's true. 
<laughs> oh boy. Raz and Brynth, welcome in. Thank you for the pets. Oh, I love it. I love the pets. Just right there. Yep. Yep. Right on the antlers. Perfect. That's the spot. <laughs> uh, while we're at it, you know what? Bring in some bleeds. There's... Good lord. I'm gonna have to raise prices on these redeems. Y'all got too y'all got too many points back here. <laughs> no, you have the head pats. I know! I got the head pats now. I'm pretty sure we have a uh, connection here, by the way. Check that out. It says ivory. Tusk. Skull. Whatever. Same thing. Agent getting investigated. Spoke with the DOL, did not reveal poaching. Hmm, a likely story. Weird. Lives vicariously through relatives, masturbates at work, and is obsessed with African art. An elevator constructor. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna go, uh, give me some bling out for the antlers with diamonds and rubies? Uh, yes, absolutely. They'll, they'll be the most impressive antlers anybody's ever seen. <laughs> Like the slapping sound, it it's it's real. It's pretty real. <laughs> I forget where, where did I get the slapping sound. I usually do most of my own foley work. I don't think I did that one. I pitched it though, <laughs> so the different cheese makes different noises. Rhinoceros nail powder, uh, leopard claw broth, double bacon cheeseburger. What is this nonsense? in the world. This, this has to be illegal, right? Those burgers hit the spot. I could go for some turtle eggs. What the hell, man? How is this not illegal? What have they done? It's rhino nail powder. It's... How is that not illegal, though? Bro, what is this game? We're, we're, we're looking for poachers. <laughs> I don't think they have. Th this person is definitely breaking the law. This separate person is definitely a poacher. But, uh. They didn't buy horn, skull, or ivory, so I think we have to discard them. What I have for dinner is stuffed mushrooms. Ooh, would you stuff them with dragon cheese? I love stuffed mushrooms. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, one of my favorite little uh, appetizers to make. I mix it together with uh, some. Like goat cheese, some breadcrumbs, some really finely minced and fried uh, a mushroom stem, a little bit of onion, and of course a spicy Italian sausage. Drizzle it with a little bit of avocado crema, uh, put them inside the mushroom caps, bake them in the oven. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. My my appetizer game, you guys, it is on point. Anybody who, who's like met me in real life knows my appetizers are pretty bomb. I don't know if I've ever had stuffed mushrooms. Stuffed mushrooms are delicious. They're amazing. If you like if you like mushrooms, they're very, very good. And they're not that hard to make either. Kind of a cheap one. A cheap appetizer. Hey, check it out. Leopard skull. Yeah, chimpanzee brain too. Good lord. Alright, here we go. This is this is definitely illegal. Sending an agent for that. Uh, you and me need to be in a kitchen together because I'm a professional chef. Ooh. Yo, I, I've seen some pictures of your uh, kitchen before, right, Dragon? Pretty sure I've seen some of those, right? Yo, Nate, I'm ready to go home and go back to bed. Yo, <laughs> thanks for dropping by. Having a having a sleepy sort of day. I think most of us are having a sleepy sort of day. Purchase SimCity 2000 for $3. And a mounted gorilla skull. <laughs> uh, tell you what. That's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to have that. You jerk. Also, we want C. Ganguli. Not here. Is that your final bid? Give me a moment. Jimenez just went higher. Uh, what? Hmm. We have a Jimenez, C. Jimenez. But it wasn't in contact with you. Who's now to her? C. Jimenez. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're allowed to flag that. Because she didn't have contact with Jimenez. They just talked about her. Right for this day and physically, mentally draining. Oh, I know those days. 
Uh, well, I hope you can, uh, take a chance to unwind a little bit, Nate, and relax some. Uh, let's see, Mario Matuska. That, that, that's a different name. Thank you so much for sending over my luggage. I can't believe I forgot. I have a great vacation. Yeah, this guy's clean. You're fine. Okay, we might have missed one or two on this, but I'm curious. Like, ivory-plated cards. I think that was ivory. All right, evidence incorrectly marked. We got one wrong. Let's see. Where, where did we go wrong? Leopard skull. Uh... Oh, Mombasa Airport. I think we I think we got the wrong airport. Yeah, we got the wrong export. <laughs> so they had grilled salmon and lemon herb sauce. Asparagus wrapped with bacon. I, you know what? Asparagus wrapped with bacon is such like a fancy little food. It's not like terribly complicated, but the presentation. Oh, chef's kiss. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Little dates wrapped in bacon for the appetizer. Dude, were you like making a special meal? I usually don't make appetizers unless it's a special occasion. <laughs> or like I'm doing a party or something like that. That sounds delicious, Dragon Cheese. That sounds amazing. Oh, it's fucking Calvin Prince. Have you heard? <laughs> no. No, I haven't. My father is poised to become the director. You know what that means. That you'll benefit from even more nepotism. Your precious Meredith Crane won't be able to give you a free ride anymore. It'll be the end of your automatic promotions. You hear yourself? Aren't you like 30? This is my floor. See you later, Hayseed. Or not. <laughs> I like a, I like how the stage direction was laughs annoyingly. <laughs> like, I'll see what we can do with that. Did have my first date in uh, two years, an actual date, and wanted to be uh, special. Yo, is that why you made dates wrapped in bacon? <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's a joke there. Did, did, did you wrap uh did you wrap uh dates in bacon or um the, the little tiny the little tiny prunes? Uh, I need to know. Wait, are they prunes or figs? What are dates? D Dragon cheese knows. Are they are they prunes or are they figs? I think prunes are figs. What the frick are dates? <laughs> You're dry figs. Okay, cool. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Oscar Deer. Hello, father. Dude, do I have a new apartment? This is a new apartment, isn't it? Look at that. Cute. He's got little, uh, got little, what you call them? Magnets. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Hi, dad. To what do I owe to the pleasure? It's your Uncle Steve. I, uh, might have given him your email. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's uh, mostly harmless. He's going crazy over investments now, and he wants to share his tips with everybody. Oh my gosh, the pets. I feel I feel, I feel energized. Thank you. Two-tone! Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the pets. And the boops! Oh gosh. We got boops and pets. I love it. <laughs> so stay tuned. He'll be in touch. Oh boy, I can't wait. Here we oh, oh Reneg is back. Uh, miraculously, the Eternal Liberty Act is stalling in Congress. So I hear. Miraculously. You need to keep it that way. And how do you expect me to do that? We need your help to sabotage the DOL's plans. Yo! yo. <laughs> Look at these biddies! Two-tone, thank you! Two biddies from two-tone. It's fitting. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, the dates are uh, their own type of fruit. I forgot about that. Are they really? Wow. Uh, we need you to help sabotage the DOL's plans whenever you can. If that thing gets through, it'll do untold damage. The DOL will have unlimited global reach. More powers, far more funding. We have to stop it. Well, when you put it that way. Well, when you put it that way. Dragon Cheese, you are like... Okay, kind of just like sidebar. You, you are an amazing chef. <laughs> Much respect. Uh, Gerald Connolly has hyper-liked me. Hmm. I like laughing, having fun, and spending time with friends and family. Hello. Ah. His hair leaves a little bit to be desired, but you know what? That's okay. Sure. Hyper-liked. 
Seeking someone that uh, looks good on the arm to take social events. Yeah, okay. I'll go to social events. I'll, I'll take some head pats in social events. There we go. <laughs> if you can't handle me at my worst, then uh, leave because I don't have a best. I'm always awful. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. <laughs> Rumble still's getting a low. Are the antlers interchangeable? I need to know. Um, These antlers, these ones are super glued to the top of my head. They kept falling off with the other ones, so I decided to keep these ones on for now. I uh, I went through a wind tunnel, and they just flew backwards and impaled themselves into somebody's windshield. It was uh, it's not great. The insurance company was not happy. So uh, they said, as a result, I had to take off the Velcro and instead super glue these on. So, yeah, they don't move anymore. They're just, uh, they're just vibing. <laughs> you can't handle me at my worst. Too bad I have one speed. Exactly, Bryn. We're going to pass on this guy. <laughs> Give me some head pats. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love it. Mm. <laughs> Won't give you no head pats, but head licks. Oh, boy. Seeking someone that looks good on the arm to take to social events. Are you the same person with a different profile? Sure. <laughs> I won't give you no... Oh, my gosh. Time for the universal solvent. Oh, no! My parole officer... Uh, tell me when you need... Tell me where you need residency. I'll marry you there to get you in. <laughs> okay. I, I'm pretty sure this is a, a, an immigration scam. I'm going to say no to that one. I'll write to you every day for a year. He... He looks like... <laughs> he looks like if Kim Jong-un had a chin. <laughs> You know what? Yes. <laughs> Go for it. You're all done. Let's see. Only one person liked me back. Gerard Connolly. There we go. Okay. Thanks, Gerard. Uh, let's sign in. Let's uh, let's go check out Gerard Connolly, by the way. Sign me up. Route me in. Connect me. We're, we're VPNing in. Okay, here we go. We are looking for contact with the Sampoli... Uh, we're looking... Oh my gosh! Union Jack, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome! It's wonderful to have you here. Hope you're having an awesome day. It's a drippy deer. It's true! It's true. The The rumors have not been exaggerated in the slightest. I am uh, positively drippy. <laughs> uh, drippy Louis. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> Oh my gosh. So we're looking for uh, V Sampoli. We're looking for C. Oh, we're on a timer, by the way. O Lee, ELA support, and contact with G Changal. Okay. Let's find some. <laughs> uh, congratulations to my enemies and attempts to look like fools. Bravo. Fake news media up to its old tricks. ELA will go through. Absolute guaranteed. Hmm. O Lee, B Lee. A. Lee. To Ceramic Pig Lobby, the American Gravy Lobby. They're all uh, very interesting choices. But none of them that we're looking for. What else we got? I want to I wanna do my, my personal choice last. Enduring Liberty Act is the only way we can maintain security in this climate. The campaign never ends. Co uh, colleagues should tone it down. This is a council person from Atlanta, by the way. Do not take life too seriously. You'll never get out of it alive. <laughs> Cute. O. Lee. Different spelling, though. ELA meetings. Scheduled later with Luther Prince. Something uh, sometime this week we're going to the LA. It would be wise to forge closer bonds. Hmm. Well, that's not cold feet over the LA support. Experiments. Oh, D. Sampoli. V. Sampoli. No, this is, uh, this is still not what we're looking for. Where, give me something to work with, right? Li Zhen? Zheng? Sorry. Yi Changal. A Li? We're looking for O Li. B Lu. Uh, there are people get angsty about this. I'll need to answer soon. Honestly, I'm not sure anymore. Ooh, um, I think that's uncertainty about the uh, ELA. Yeah, okay. My support is unwavering. Yeah, well, maybe not so much anymore, huh? Let's go ahead and sell this to... Who needs some relationship? I think uh, Snow Owl needs it. 
anyone else on this map that we can poke around with? I don't think so. Oh, wait, hold on. There's two two people here, not just the one. Lip. Uh, hold back my meeting. I might need to process some more information. G Changal. Hey, yo, hang on a minute. There we go. That's good info. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's wrong, wrong spelling. Hmm. Wait, how is that the wrong spelling? It's G Chagall. Huh. Contact with G Chagall. Weird. Okay. Anyway, uh, strongly disagree with the senator. Let's see. This is Grace Chagall. Hey, there we go. That's better. V. Samboli. Is that another one? No, that's no good. Okay, that's fine. We'll sell this to whose relationship is getting low. Let's top off Snow Owl. Okay, get rid of you. Let's uh, let's go check out our date, Gerald. <laughs> okay, and booked a uh, Sunday off. Oh hi, uh, hello. Let's uh, let's chat. Let's chat a little bit. I booked Sunday off. Do you want to go kayaking again? It was tons of fun kayaking. Now I'm over that. Please. Uh, about base jumping now. Definitely. I'm done kayaking too. Okay. 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 Hey, just uh, just just browsing your history while we're chatting. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Volunteering DC. Get involved today. Kayaking techniques. Expert tutorial. Kayak in Maryland. Liver disease. What? Uh, let's see. Uh, what? What do you uh, do in your spare time? Well, um, I. I like uh, giving back to charities, obviously. Because he, he was looking at charities, right? That's really admirable. I'm trying to get into doing the same. Yo, here we go. Hang on a minute. We're onto something. Are you a big partier? Hmm. Uh, out all the time, sinking shots. Uh, only the count with balloons. Been trying to take it easy with drinking lately. I've been getting the heat from my friends, but it'll be worth it. Hmm. I don't know how to answer this one. Hacking techniques. Our our sessions expired. Ah, frick it. Uh, okay, we got we got we got to do our best with what we got. Um, I yeah, kind of, kind of. But I'm 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 gonna give like the lukewarm response and see how that goes. What do you say? What do you say? Did he respond? Did he leave me on red? Oh no. Uh, uh let's see. I'm getting into base jumping. Time for hobbies, canoeing. Oh, let's say base jumping. I think I missed one of his messages. I'm not getting to see his messages. What the hell? Hello? I, 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 I'm I having to respond not knowing what he's saying. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're, we're... Am I nailing it? We're doing great? Oh, frick. <laughs> he hung up on me. Oh, I blew it. Oh, I blew it. I, actually, I didn't blow it. I don't freaking know. It glitched out a little bit. Get me out of here. Clearly, clearly we can't be trusted with this dating app. <laughs> All right. What's up, Frank? I don't buy it. This ordinary temporary scope is just a consolation prize before they bump us entirely. Probably. It seems the senators and representatives still oppose the Eternal Liberty Act. What I see are a bunch of spineless dolts who can't see what's necessary for their country. Easy, Frank. Do they seriously think other agencies can use that money better? The DIA, the CIO, for God's sake. This could be the best goddamn crime-fighting organization in the world. How many times do we have to show that? They seem to think it'll concentrate power too much. More bullshit, right, Brian? Ah, uh, you got it, Frank. The way I see it, there's only one course of action here, Meredith. I already know what you're going to say, but go on. We have new scope. We just received file access from the State Department Office of Authentications. We need to play dirty. This is risky. I'll see what I can do. Uh, Ma Yo, Meredith is actually uh, on board. She's going to play ball. What is this? Ooh, Darius. This is a... um. How do they describe this game? It is a uh, 
an espionage action game. Like, not action game. An espionage... It's like Papers, Please, but you're, like, part of uh, the, like, D Department of Liberty, which is... What is that similar to in real life? Uh, there's a name for it. Oh, my gosh. What's the one... What's the, what's the government organization that, like, does all the processing of people's internet traffic? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. It's not the CIA. <laughs> it's not the NSA. Oh, frick. Wow, I'm, I'm drawing a total blank right now. Well, if, some if somebody's got it, shout it out. But otherwise, um, it's basically an organization that monitors everybody's, like, information. <laughs> New evidence access, employment records, legal authorization program name Spitshine, detailed records of a suspect's work history, including employer's salaries and time frames. Hmm. Collected from job search databases and employer compliance. Okay. We've also got a new power, leak. Leak information to journalists, media members, online influencers, and useful Department of Liberty contacts. Program name Side Glance. Hmm. Okay, I like it. Let's uh, dig up dirt on anti-ELA politicians to discredit them. All right, okay. We're, we're getting a little saucy here. Okay, so wh what are we doing? The majority of senators and members of Congress still oppose the Etern Enduring Liberty Act. With the new vote drawing near, we must act now. You need to dig up information, or you need to dig up dirt on these politicians so that we can use it as leverage. Political analysis firm Oxford Examina is telling us that voters are currently reacting best to scandals involving poor job performance, so we'll begin there. Along with classic flaws like addiction and contact with fringe radicals, search employment records for any strangely short-lived career moves. All right. There isn't uh, quite a real-world equivalent, but it's basically a dystopian thriller. Yeah, exactly. It's a dystopian thriller, like Patriot Act, but worse. Tibbs, you hit the nail on the head. You're absolutely right. So we want to look for anybody who's employed in a job for under three months with suspicion of gambling, addiction, or difficult past relationships. Okay, okay. We also want to see contact with A. Ramala, V. Gortat, and G. Baines between the hours of 1 and 4 a.m. Homeland Security! God damn it, thank you. <laughs> Tibbs, you big, beautiful person. My goodness. That's the one, Homeland Security. Uh, okay, let's start down here in Arizona. Garrett Smith. He is a member of Congress. He was a lawyer from January to May. We're looking for three months, right? Under three months. Okay, so it's fine. July to August at Bridgman Attorneys. That's a short one. And then again for about a year at Goldberg Associates. I'm bald? Hard. Hard bald. Uh, let's see, he's got mint tea, a donation to the children of Uganda, a Shiba Inu calendar, and 16 bottles of old gold cognac. Buddy. I mean, the Shiba Inu calendar's cute, the donation's good, but I'm gonna have to link this one. So we've got addiction, possibly, also employed for less than three months. That looks worthy of a leak, I think. Facing party officials may step down within 24 hours. Holy crap, we got him. Uh, Martha Ortega. Uh, contact with B. Ralama? No, not who we're looking for. Have you actually read this thing? The ELA proposal? It's despicable. How could anyone support placing this kind of power with such irresponsible organization? Now, oh, stop whining. Martha Ortega. Let's see. January to September, January to August, August to March, May to January, February to September. Bald. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that bald. This person looks okay. Although you have had contact with G. Baines, but not during any time of the day. Yeah, you're safe. She's got nothing. She's got nothing in her past we can dig up. Bill Walker, though. This guy looks almost exactly like uh, Dennis from from our uh, contacts. Uh, Bill Walker. September to February, February to April. That's a short one. His development executive for RVS Studios. 
Okay, that's suspicious. Do you have any issues here? How are we doing on the ELA situation? As of now, I'm voting against. I'm impressed your conscience got the better of you. She didn't know, but the DLL wants my vote. They'll have to offer me some... They'll have to offer me more than they have. Hmm. Okay, well... How about a toxic partner, though? Along with your short-lived job right around that same time of the year. How about that, huh? Let's see, uh... Flag that real quick. <laughs> uh, you caught me. I didn't have the one that hacked the computer and put all the pictures to the interior. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're lucky we didn't catch you on that one. Let's see. Who else we got? Catherine Woodward. Oh, we got lots of evidence on her. We do our part to halt the erosion of our civil liberties. That was just beginning. I encourage citizens in privacy to write to the uh, representative in the legislation. For the committee hearing yesterday, very productive. Okay, interesting. So she's definitely against the ELA. You have let's look for any kind of like gaps in your resume. Resume is iron tight. No gaps. So that's something. And we don't have any contacts with people either. Hmm. Bummer. Alright, well. You're fine, I guess. <laughs> Hello, Karam. What's up? Hello. Welcome on in. The 3D model slaps the hell. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> Welcome on in. It's good to have you here. We're just, uh, we're just like scooting through everybody's uh, search histories. Don't mind me. Let's see here. Employment record. Looking for short periods of time. Nothing really. Yeah, no, she's, uh, she's got pretty solid history. Nothing to do there. It's Aluka. Oh, it's uh, Hebrew. Oh, fantastic. Well, you'll have to excuse my uh, pronunciation. I'll try and uh, try and get that better. <laughs> but Aluka, welcome on in. I fundamentally despise the notion of uh, having a gap in your resume is problematic. It's nobody's business, hot take. Well, actually, I, I actually misspoke, uh, Tibbs. We're not actually looking for gaps in their resume. That doesn't matter. What we're looking for is somebody who wasn't able to hold down a job for at least three months. That's what we're looking for. Um, I don't know why I said gap in a resume. <laughs> uh, she's got a little bit of wine, some sequence bras, a ticket to a charity raffle. No, nah, she's fine. Got yeah, nothing on her. What else we got? Representative up here in Alaska. Bill Walker. When can I see you soon? I'll be alone this weekend. I mean, we can get the water bit to ourselves. Ooh, okay. So you might be uh, philandering a little bit here. A welder, our salesman, minister. He's got no gaps. Or not not gaps. He's got no issues with the uh, his resume here. Doesn't trust horses as easily me. Oh, yeah, it's true. He doesn't trust horses. <laughs> Oh no, those horses, they uh they hurt him as a child. Hmm. Yeah, this guy is also un ungettable. Hmm. What about Hawaii? Harry Jansen. At least it's not deer. Yeah, at least it's not deer. <laughs> if they didn't trust deer, I don't know what I would do. Alright, any short jobs? Hmm. No, no, you're fine. L U. Are we looking for any kind of contact? Oh, here we go. Uh, of which do you call Ada Ramallah? Yes, of course. We never spoke. No, it's impossible. I got a staffer to do it then. Well, we got people calling folks, but no contact. Do so they have reason to be scared of you? Ha! <laughs> Maybe. We only got two people. I feel like I must have missed something. We usually get way more than two. G get beans? Yeah, we did miss one. What did we miss? The G beans. Review my suspects. Where, where was it? Oh, this one. Yeah, G beans. But it was supposed to be contact with G beans, but at a specific time of day. Hmm. Interesting. 
Okay. Well, fair. We missed that one. Tibbs got it. Tibbs got it a little bit too late after I uh, after I pushed the button though. Oh, uh, that's that stream delay for you. It, it takes like you know two seconds to get to you. <laughs> you feel okay about this? Digging into elected officials. Uh, of course. How are they different from anybody else? Uh, because we might be undermining the entire democratic process. You know, little things like that irk me. Well, I I mean, when you put it that way, jeez. Guess I'll just go home. <laughs> what do we got? Give me a little skeleton key action. What are we looking for tonight? We're gonna get through this speedy. What am I looking for? Anybody? Oh, connect. Sorry, I forgot to connect. <laughs> uh, we need to do GPA under three if started working for Elgree Institution. GP under 2.8 if started working with TMC Corp. What are we doing? Background checks on qualifications. Oh, interesting. GP under 2.9 if working for Ryoka Manufacturing as a manager or insulting current manager. <laughs> okay, sure. Let's give him a look. Bachelors. Okay, so we want to see any news. Means we can pay the bank. Move mom to the back of the house. Huxley was great. My first new patron is coming through. Elegree Institute, 2020, no, okay, oh, here we go, Ryako Manufacturing, as a manager, you are a manager, uh, so your GPA was under 2.9, yeah, we can sell that, boom, got you, uh, next up, Regina, all right, we're looking Blockhead Toys, Vanguard Animations, Elegry Institute, uh, 2020? Nope. Okay. Started working in 2020, so that's a no. Martin. Uh, Element Holding, Zoo, Tor Zoo Troy? This just says employer. Oh, they... What? I think they mix up mix up this table. It just says employer over here in Ryoka Manufacturing is over on this side. Uh, let's see. You're as a manager. You're a supervisor, though. Okay, so is is that? I can't tell. It says employer. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and snag it anyway. Yeah. No. Okay. So that's wrong. <laughs> uh, Martin, we can get rid of that. We don't need that in our that in there. Oh, wait, wait. What did he say? Was he insulting somebody? I didn't even read the email. This place sucks dick. Your manager's the biggest asshole of them. I don't know. It means well. She doesn't know how to delegate. Okay, so it's not him insulting anybody. Ah, flag him safe. What else we got? Philip. No way to avoid this. New console's a disaster. We can't hold back the announcement. We'll get it over ASAP. Okay. Well, you're safe. What else we got? Just like lining up the information that I know we need. Pretty easy to rule people out. Radical 90s Games Zone TMC Corp in 2021. Yo, hang on a minute. GPA under 2.8. There we go. Got him. Got him. Who else? Anybody else on this map? We already did these two, right? Or did we? Did we grab you already? Yeah, I think we did. Okay, cool. You have a very nice voice. I hope you don't mind me saying that. Aw, thank you so much. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. I'm going to sell this off to... Well, let's get it to Dennis. He, uh, His relationship is growing a little bit low. There we go. Keep him happy. All right, now we can get the heck out of here. Yo, dinner with Frank, though. So, you're conflicted about this operation. So, what gave it away? <laughs> you're not that hard to read, kid. Oh, that's one of the reasons why I like you. Thanks? It's a good thing. Don't worry. It might seem dirty, but we're doing it for our country, okay? And all the people in that country. Even if they don't know it. I think I understand. Hey, kid. 
The only reason the department exists is to keep our nation safe. And when you're forced to change, to think creatively, that's what you do. But aren't we making our own rules? Yes, and there's nothing wrong with that. As long as it's for a good cause. You should try it yourself. Me? Yeah, you. You're a bona fide hero. What do you have to show for it? A little place, not much financial security. What are you saying? Just what I've always said. Write your own script. You want some more pie? <laughs> oh, because they're in a diner. It's it's not a metaphor. Or is it a metaphor? <laughs> I, lo I love the meetings with Frank. Frank has such like a twisted and weird perspective on things. Oh man, I love it. All right, folks, this is a weird one. Canyon Intelligence gave us the name connected to the Omsk attack. Unfortunately, that name is the Dropout Solidarity. Who? They were an anarchist group in the late 1970s, Sabotage and General Mayhem. Problem is, they disbanded 30 years ago. Before we write it off, though, Archives has dug up some old profiles of their former members. Sounds like a dead end. It's a long shot, but if we manage to make some connections between members, we might have a way to find the former leaders. We also now have access to suspect travel history. Lucky for us, it dates all the way back to when you would have smoke on planes. <laughs> Does that drop the door? I... N no? <laughs> Astral Mouse, how the heck are you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> Welcome back in. Also, Ecto the Goat, yo! Welcome, welcome! It's so good to have you here. Oh my goodness. All, all you wonderful people. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. And hello to you too, Ecto. Check it out. We got some uh we got some travel history. Program name Pilgrim. Displays movements of commuters on bus, rail, and plane, covers departure times, locations, and seat numbers. Check it out. Halu, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hope you're uh, hope you're enjoying everything so far. This is uh this is definitely like one of the weirder games I've played on stream. Uh, it was a bit of a bit of a stretch, I guess, to play this one, but I I really really loved it, and I feel like it got like criminally underrated when it came out. It was just a tiny little kickstarted game, and I don't know. I wanted to share it a little bit more with everybody because I absolutely love it. I like a weird game very much. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> uh, we got a new power to investigate. Uh, program name Magnifier. Initiates deeper investigation of the suspect, usually requiring coordination with multiple department divisions. Hmm. Okay. I was swinging by Oofy Dog stream when you came up as a suggested channel. Oh, fantastic. Ecto. I, I love Oofy Dog. Oofy Dog is an amazing, amazing streamer. In fact, let me give him a little shout out real quick. Oofy Dog. Actually, I can do a slash shout out, can I? Oofy dog. There we go. Is that, is that how that works? Yeah, there we go. If anybody wants a nice, cozy, comfy streamer, go check out Oofy. He, well, that's not true. He's got like a lot of big energy too. I've seen his Smash, uh, Smash Bros streams. They're super exciting. <laughs> I actually got to play Smash Bros with Oofy in person at MFF, and it was an experience, let me tell you. <laughs> Getting to hear his announcer voice in person is pretty great. Gonna go play Mario Kart with him but now? Oh, fantastic. Have a good time. Yeah, he's doing some uh, Mario Kart streaming over there if anybody wants to uh, give him a try. Missed him at MFF. Oh, you were at MFF too, Ecto? Hell yeah. Also, Michaela, welcome on in. Hello. We are we're snooping through and uh, tracking down members of the Dropout Solidarity. Trying to, trying to trace down uh, Cloud Dweller. Love those fools. <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> They're all amazing. This dropout solidarity lead is a very long shot, but it's the only connection we have right now to those attacks. Since the group has long disbanded, we dug up some archive profiles from former members in 1978. Search through them, see if there's any present in uh, certain cities on the days of the violated, violent incidents, or if they had contact with noteworthy figures. That way we'll know if they were high enough ranking to investigate further. Okay, I got you. Don't have a suit, but uh, have a heart full of love. Oh, that's fantastic. Ecto, I hope you had a wonderful time at MFF. I know I did. 
Oh, Michaela, I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. I'm a little, a little on the sleepy side today, but that's because I only got like four hours of sleep. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I did a bad job. I was supposed to get more sleep than that. <laughs> Amazing. Gotta go. See you later, Ecto. Thanks for dropping by. Tell Ufi I said hi. So we're looking for connections with Xfil Finance Company, along with visits to several places. Uh, history of drug crimes, not possession. Contact with individuals. And we want a visiting somewhere at the same time as another suspect. That's going to be tricky. Visiting somewhere at the same time as another suspect. That's going to be hard to find. But, I mean, we'll do our best. Let's see what we can do. Wait, is this, uh... What kind of investigation is this? Is it like... Helper suspect. Oh! Oh, interesting. Okay. So this is a helper suspect. We're not going to flag this person. But we do need their travel information. Grand Theft Auto Hidden Run. Lewd content in public. Oh, same. Every damn stream. <laughs> Marijuana smuggling. Hmm. Smuggling. Interesting. So, again, I can't actually... I can't flag a helper suspect, but I'm going to be looking at them for their travel information. Okay, so Sylvester Kenneth. It's going to be really hard. Because we got we to gotta connect these locations to the helper suspects. You know, mm, okay, whatever. Let's see here. Got a pet rock, mustard platform shoes, 12 dossiers from Xfil Finance. Xfil Finance, go. Okay. So, you did have an association with Xfil Finance. Did you go to any of these locations? Uh, Kanaga? We, you went to, um... Kotika, Colombo, and Bendigo. Colombo, hang on a minute. We're onto something here. It's amazing, but I gotta go. Oh, no problem. <laughs> uh, let's see. Colombo on December 23rd? Yo, hang on a minute. That's what we needed. December 23rd, Xfil dossiers. There we go. We have drug crimes not in possession. We want a deep link if you went to someplace at the same time. So, Kotika and... Bendigo. Kotika Bendigo. Oops, so I'm not ready to I'm not ready to make a decision on you yet. Go back. Kotika Bendigo. That's what we're looking for. Not for you. I'm looking at the helper suspects. Uh Bendigo. Hang on a minute. Let me uh, grab that real quick. See if that's on the same date as you. Is that the only other helper suspect we have? We only have two. Oh, we have three. Okay. Pyro. Okay. So let me go back to... What's his face? Sylvester. Open this up. Bendigo. June 15th. Yeah, they were in the same location. Look at that. Okay, 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 okay. I almost missed that clue. I'm gonna investigate you. Found currently as a zookeeper. Okay. Good for you, bud. Jacob Kessler. Don't need that anymore. All right. You were... Let's look at your... Uh... Travel first. Well, we need to find uh, affiliation with Xfil Finance. Xfil Finance right here is a janitor. And we want to see... You went to Beale, Burn, Cairo, and Kanaga. Kanaga on April 27th. Okay, that plus Xfil Finance makes for a connection. Now, we also want to look for Cairo, Burn, and Beale. 
for our helper suspects. Let's see what we got. Gera? That's not Gern, right? Cairo, Garen, and Beal. How about you? There's Cairo. Grab that real quick. And go back to our Jacob Kessler. When were you in Cairo? November 11th? November 16th. Alright, so that's not good. Urnbeal. Yeah, I think that's all for you. And carpet mood ring. BG staying alive. <laughs> Love it. Alright, so that's enough to at least uh, match you. Mark for further analysis. Good. What else we got? Yuri Anton. Maripol. Maracaibo. And Moscow. Maracaibo, hold on. Uh, on July 18th, do you have a connection with... Xville? You do. There we go. Uh, Maracaibo... July 18th. Now, what about this? What does your, uh... Criminal history look like? Eavesdropping failure to appear. Heroin trafficking. I need association with A. Munir. There we go. Got you. And finally, we want to see, are you in a location with any other suspect? So we don't need these two anymore. Oh, oh sorry, we do need that one. Moscow, Mary Poole. Moscow and Mary Poole. Let's see, where's our helpers? No, not you. You're a helper. No, okay. Look at her Moscow or Mary Poole. Is that the only helpers we have? Have we exhausted them all? Damascus. I think that's everybody. I don't think he was in the same place as anybody else. Alright, well that's good enough to flag him at least. He's got two pieces of evidence on him, so we're gonna send in an investigation. Track down at a gas station in Topeka. Hmm, okay. Now we got Sun Tu. Moscow, Maracaibo. What date? The 18th? Nope. Okay. Jaipur, Moscow. Nope. Okay, you're fine on your travel. Ah, uh, macrame owls. <laughs> I got station wagon. Pop and stuff pillowcase. This guy seems pretty clean. I mean, he's got a lot of drug uh, possession. But yeah, he's safe. No match on him. Oh, that's it. We did it. All right, let's see how we did. I feel like I feel like we might have missed one connection of uh, somebody being in the same place as a helper. No, we got it. Perfect round. You'll love to see it. You can see like these these rounds are getting definitely harder. Definitely harder. Compliance, one hundred percent. Ray Day lead. Hell yeah. Great. Looks like we've identified some key members. Now all we need to do is find out where they are now. That sounds like it could be filed under easier said than done. Naturally. <laughs> All right, send me home. My cute little, cute little apartment. It's Gebe Wellfleet. Is this my uncle that's supposed to call me? Hello. This is Gebe Wellfleet from the IRS. Uh oh, something wrong. As a matter of fact, there is. Last year, you underpaid on your taxes. You'll need to make a lump payment as restitution. I see. Eve, can I call you back a little later? I just have something on the stove. <laughs> okay, this guy's definitely a scammer, right? That freaking IRS doesn't just call like that. Oh, Max Leonard! Yo, it's our it's our boo. Hey, it's been ages. I just got back from uh, reporting on that cheese festival in Milwaukee, uh, doing the hard, hard hitting uh, investigative work. I even met Rich Evans while I was there. And yes, he's just as cool as you'd expect. Anyway, back in town and ready to party. Busy this week? Sure, how about Thursday? 
Partying on a Thursday. Yo. Living that, uh, living that wildlife. Great. Is your place free? Uh, my place kind of sucks. Or I got too much DOL stuff in the open. Yeah, the, pl the plumbing's broken. <laughs> Thank you for the cheese, by the way. Trinket, hello. Welcome on in. So I, I got, for both of these, I gotta say my place sucks. It's being fumigated or the plumbing is still broken. Oh, both of those are terrible excuses. It's being fumigated. Meet me at the diner? How about the embassy? <laughs> yeah, let's just go to the restaurant. Cool. I'll see if Dan's free too. Who's D Dan? Oh, Dan is his, uh, Dan is his new thing, right? Is that a boob incoming? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> sure. See you then. Damn it. He's, he's bringing his boyfriend. No. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm doing well, Trinket. How are you? Having myself a lovely little time. I'm going to research Gebe. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna mess with this scammer like immensely. Do I really need to do any investigative stuff? Probably, right? Here we go. All right, here we go. We're looking for arrived in Lima by plane before eleven p.m. Chili, miniatures, and alchemist's engine. Wait, identify which of the inventor's profiles is the real one. You need two suspect points. What? Which, uh, I don't know which of the inventors is the real one. Oh, no. There's so many of them. Okay, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Too risky here. You gotta keep moving. Weiss is coming for you. Now refine me. If he does, I'll let him have him by have the Xbox. Is that what you're calling the prototype? Yeah, why? We'll come back to that. <laughs> Whoops. Double legs done right. No fuss, no muss. Telephone game. Baru and you. Well, we did arrive in Lima, but it was it was before 11 p.m. though. There we go. Check that out. I like it. Tired of hanging in for a couple more hours. It's finals week. Oh no, I have a couple friends who are uh, taking finals right about now. It is exhausting. It's an exhausting process, I'll tell you. <laughs> but I wish you good luck. Tomorrow is uh, the neuropsychology. Oh my. God. Oof, trinket. Trinket, hang in there. <laughs> I hope everything goes well for you. Uh, Devil's Eye. Lima before here? No, okay. It's the wrong one. Okay. How am I supposed to tell like which one's like the actual right one? Being a small raccoon is hard. It's so hard. <laughs> Oh man, getting like a lot of uh, you know, hang on a minute, frogs fiddle, I don't know about this, I need some work, <laughs> uh, statistic brain biology over other humans right away, oh my god, trinket, that is like a hard field to be in, what is this travel thing that I got here by the way, I don't want to lose my opportunity to mess with the uh, IRS scammer guy, Ice cronies, prototype, camp on the trail, alchemist engine. There we go. Okay, so we want to get rid of travel mini. Get rid of this one. We can sell all the rest of these. Let's spread the joy a little bit. So to you, and we're getting like a ton of a ton of information to sell this time. To keep everybody happy. Right, we've maxed out relationship with every single one of them. I guess we'll get a little bit extra money from Dennis, right? <laughs> he uses my psych degree. Hey, there you go. You'll love to see it. Also, hello, Drip Pop. <laughs> you just be vibing. Okay, here's our requested person, by the way. He is a he is a tax collector. Sweats when lying, avoids going near windows. Uh good evening, Hema Hawk. World, what are you doing? You're in fine voice. What's the Grandmaster's request for tonight's summit? Okay, which movie are we seeing? Yeah, wait, what? Docile Ox Society Clubhouse. Oh! Parking ticket, speeding fine, parking ticket. 
Okay, okay. I got you. Thank you for that. Oh my gosh, Lyconius! Looky here. This wolf dropped some bits for the deer. I I I got him. They landed they landed right on my head. <laughs> Thank you so much for the biddies, Lyconius. Aw. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I appreciate the support. Let's let's mess with the uh let's mess with this IRS guy again. Is he gonna call me back? He's like part of Docile Ox Clubhouse or whatever. Surely we can call him, right? Like can we give him a call? I guess I have to close this down, right? Parking ticket, speeding fine. I'm a hawk. I, I I probably have to remember what he's saying in these, right? Yeah, let's, uh, I'm a hawk, row, row, low. Let's see what, let's see what he says when he calls me back. Gelb, I think, uh, we can come to some kind of arrangement. Now, why would you think that? And my name is Geeb. I hate to tell anybody about the hit and run. <laughs> Otherwise, your colleagues will, uh, know you're in a creepy sex cult. Oh, boy, there we go. Oh, uh, by the way, bleats are on sale. Get some bleats in there. Because I'm a fellow member of the Docile Ox Society. Oh, you're a member too. That wants to seek her greeting. Uh, it's uh, Hemma Hawk, obviously. Yeah, I got him. Well, why didn't you say so? I'll take care of this pesky payment immediately, fellow ox. Thank you, brother. Okay, so it turns out he was actually an, uh, an actual tax uh, collector, but um, he. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like I'm getting bleats. I'm getting head pats. I love it. I love it. It's all. It's a damn party in here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Only the finest. Only the finest head pads. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's Thursday, though. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Congratulations, everyone. We're making an impact. Some senators have been changing their votes. But we still need more. Wait, so you're... You, you know the sex cult greeting? Uh, yeah. Crash, you don't know the sex cult greeting? When you got... When you got hooves like these, you got... You gotta know all the special greetings. Don't you flip me over. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Don't you whisper carelessly at me. <laughs> I swear it's not what it seems. I know that's what you were into. Crash! Don't, uh... You don't have to be... You don't have to be jealous. I get some head pats. Thank you. Thank you for the head pats. Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Crash. If, uh... If you want an invitation, you just have to ask. I know some I know some guys on the inside. <laughs> we're gonna dig deeper and dirtier now, so everybody bring me every scrap you can find. Just remember, we're not making things up. If they did something wrong, we're just letting people know. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Neko Panda! Hello, welcome on in! I know the secret greeting for the, the drip cult. Is it, it, it what could it possibly be? I like little kisses on my apples. Mm -hmm. You nailed it. <laughs> now everybody knows my secret though crash <laughs> hey mr stream oh neko i i miss streaming i miss uh i miss hanging out with all you guys <laughs> oh my gosh is that a real british foxy what oh and she's at me amazing <laughs> oh man but thank, thank you for the biddies uh thank you for the biddies crash <laughs> yeah we got a new power we can blackmail Threaten suspect to follow the department's directions or their information will be used against them. Program named Deep Shovel. Hmm. Okay, okay. Getting a little spicy now. Operation Helping Hands Phase 2. Expose compromising material on political opponents on the ELA. Catherine Woodward and her allies are standing firm against the Enduring Liberty Act, so we need to fight a little dirtier and meaner. Bald. Me? Oh, I get it. Chipmunk is bald. Oh man, Chipmunk, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so I like little kisses on my so like, What's this game's deal, man? <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, by the way. Uh, this game is um. Have you ever heard of Papers, Please? You have no hair, just antlers. Oh my god. You're right. <laughs> But my antlers are my hair. It's it's the closest thing I've got. Um, so, so Chip, uh, this game is kind of like Papers Please, where we are. Thank you for the head pats, by the way. Um, I'm gonna let it massage my brain as I explain. 
Uh, so what we do is we look through people's internet search history, their tracking information, all the, all this kind of stuff that we're digging up from like Department of Homeland Security stuff. And we are, uh, it's a mix between Papers, Please and Orwell. Yeah, 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 you got the right idea. You got the right idea. So we're working for the Department of Liberty, which is like the NSA. Um, and we are collecting information on various things, on everything from like, you know, stopping poachers to uh, intercepting political people to stopping terrorist attacks. Like it runs the gamut, right? Uh, we take information from innocuous sources like internet browsing history, uh, dating websites, package travel, stuff like that. You just find, oh, hell yeah. R oh, British Foxy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. <laughs> I'm just do this. Oh, fantastic. I hope you're having a wonderful night, British. <laughs> uh, Department of Liberties, Liberties nuts. Oh, got him. How have we not made that joke before? That's a good joke. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so for this particular mission chip, we are um, looking for compromising information on politicians who are opposing an expansion of power for our department. And we're going to try and discredit them in the voters' eyes. So, for example, we want to link together anybody who is opposing the Enduring Liberties Act, who has contact with M. Alton, G. Nunez, or A. Osborne. And on top of that, we're using black sheep on porn, illegal substance use, uh, enthusiasm for communism, and used ex-escorts, only if opposing the Liberties Act. Right? Looks complicated. It's a little... It gets complicated, but the... The core of it, it definitely makes sense. <laughs> but you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So let's look at Marie Dahl, for example. She's a senator from uh, Sacramento. She's got terrible hearing. She once had a pet ocelot, believes in natural luck. Yo, thank you. <laughs> Personally, I like my escorts new. Or at the very least, like new. <laughs> like new? Cert you don't want certified pre-owned? <laughs> I did think it was a little bit weird that they said, like, escorts used. Like, I know it's just, like, a past progressive tense or whatever, but, like, they, they could have used a better, they could have used a better <laughs> refurbished escorts. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, check it out. We got Marie Dahl here, and we're looking for any of this information on her. So, first of all, does she oppose the Civil Liberties Act, or the um, Enduring Liberties Act? Thank you again for the wonderful lunch. I must say you convinced me I am completed a rare 180 degree turn. You now have my unwavering support in blocking the Enduring Liberties Act. So she opposes it. Let's look up some, uh, let's look up some stuff for her. Yo, Cheesecake Dragon, hello! <laughs> Welcome on in! Or Cheesecake Durgan. <laughs> How's my favorite Durgan doing? How you doing today? Oh my goodness, let me give you a little shout out real quick. Uh, hey, uh, hey Drip Pop, can you come here for a minute? I need you to, uh, open up your mouth. Come here, o open your mouth. What's he, what do you got in there? It's Cheesecake Durgan. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, cheesecake is a wonderful, wonderful bean. Cheesecake. Can we offer you some refurbished escorts? Some refurbished, yeah, yeah, some refurbished escorts. Are you interested? Are you in the market? <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. It's so good to have you here. Um, I am Drip the Deer. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I am a real live internet deer, and we play video games for the internet. Uh, anything from modern classics to indie gems, kind of like the one we're playing tonight. This one's called Need to Know. It's like a uh, I think it's called a surveillance thriller. So, uh, go ahead, get cozy. Oh my gosh, coffee. <laughs> that woman Googled BDSM. Send her to Brazil. She <laughs> send her to Brazil? I like Will Kisses on my animals, It's true. I can't believe you would expose my deepest, darkest secret right in front of the Raiders, though. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you so much. And uh, also, Midnight Chaos, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Your self intro is cool. <laughs> Thank you, I do my best. Oh my gosh, th there's the notification. I knew it was gonna come eventually. <laughs> oh my goodness. But welcome in everybody. It's so good to have you here. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Go ahead, get cozy. We're just getting started. <laughs> Ari said he'd send a mean, he sent me a bean pics if I installed Final Fantasy 14. I was taking like three hours. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> That's a, it's a big game. All right, so, so I, I wanted to close my little, uh, investigation screens here but while the raiders came in we are uh we're investigating some senators for doing some weird stuff that's a lot of cheese thank you we're investigating senators for doing some weird stuff so uh 
This is not my internet search history that we're looking at here. It's, uh, it's Marie Dahl. So don't blame me for the weird stuff she's into. Anyway, I see that she's into BDSM XXX Extreme Fetish. Also, Diddy Kong Fan Club. <laughs> so check this out. She does a pose. Hang on a minute. Oh, God. I'm assassinated. You've assassinated a deer. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for the cheese. I appreciate you. The game would be pretty fun with Twitch integration. Viewers could influence their browsing history. That would be super fun, actually, Coffee. I would love that. That seems like a good time. Yo, Nightmare, what's up? It's a it's a it's a drip the deer. It's true. <laughs> Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful night. Anything else that she has going on, by the way? ASMR fresh vids. Hmm. Drug use communism. We're looking for contact with M. Alton. Hey, check that out. So we want, we need to talk about uh, what we're doing for our money. I understand your needs. Clearly the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Okay, M. Alton with, ah, oh, frick. I can't, opposes Liberty Act. You... Oh, I, okay, okay, okay. I did it wrong, I did it wrong. We're supposed to use the deep link for connections between M. Alton and opposition right here. And we just do a black sheep flag on this. Okay, now we got her. We're gonna do some blackmail. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Viewers be advised, description is 19 plus. Yo, it's it's true, it's 19 plus. Be careful, That that's how you know it's real. When it's not even 18 plus, this is 19 plus. Check off Olaf Hess over here, by the way. Member of Congress from Utah. Honestly, I couldn't disagree more. I respect her on most issues, but the ELA is not only essential, or not only necessary, but essential. We have to preserve our security at any price. Sorry, who is this? So he does not oppose the uh, ELA. He's got a lot of medical marijuana. He's got a ceramic Grim Reaper bong, a 2,400 page Garfield omnibus. This guy, the, the Congress, Congressman Hess over here, everybody. He's getting money from the Communist Party. He's getting money from M. Alton. But uh, we're not... Also, we got two boxes of animal crackers. Bless this man. I know, right? <laughs> this person's from Salt Lake City. Can you believe it? <laughs> um, but despite all this information, he does not oppose the uh, ELA. So we're, gonna flag we're not going to flag him. 18 years old, come back in a year when you're mentally ready for this, kiddo. Oh, that, that senator needs to needs to wait a whole year, yep. <laughs> okay, we got A. Osborne, some loan repayments. He was with the Communist Party. He was with the Communist Party, it's true. But, uh, he goofed it? No, no, no. So I only report if he's in the Communist Party if he opposes the act. But he doesn't oppose the act, so uh, we're not, we're, we're gonna let him fly. He's, he's, he's on our side. So we don't need to leak any information about him. We're doing a little, we're doing a little bit of surreptitious political gaming here. <laughs> uh, let's see, I can't, not sure if I can accept your donation, consider a gift, token of our appreciation. Thank you. I suppose a meeting wouldn't be terrible. Wednesday then, with A. Osborne, do you oppose the Enduring uh, Liberty Act? I'm certain it's not a major issue. My constituents and a few have been contacted by very few. Uh, however, each passing day, I become more certain that the ELA must fail. Liberty and conscience of our nation is at stake. All right. Time to start flagging you. Uh, that's a contact with A. Osborne. And do you have any other funny things going here? Straight to Brazil. Straight to Brazil. Absolutely. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, let's see. A. Osborne. Well, nothing else here in her history but we have enough to leak some information. Okay, who else we got? Valentina. Yo. <laughs> Hello? Dear wear. You're in for a scare. Viewers, dear wear. <laughs> You're in for a, a bear? <laughs> oh my goodness. So check this out. We got a uh, XXXX beer from beeroftheworld.edu. A stream of 1990s ghost. Triple X, the history of swearing. Fuck.edu. Uh, love that one. <laughs> uh, looks like you don't really have anything in your browsing history, though. 
a Panama hat, Milady fine headwear, love it, a croque monsieur from Mon Dieu Cafe, Communist Manifesto, there it is. Now I got you. Okay, so how are you voting? On what, the ELA? Oh, that, hmm, let's see, against. No, wait, four. So in favor, yes, I'm definitely against it, and that's fine. <laughs> okay, so I think he's against it. I think he's against it. Let's flag the communism here. We also want to see if you got any contact with these people. Sylvie's discretion. Escorts, yo, how on escorts. Riverside Hospital. And Green Preservation Society. Guess what, buddy? You are getting some blackmail. How about that? <laughs> Opposing the Enduring Liberty Act? Straight to prison. Straight to jail. Believe it or not, straight to jail. Cookfish too long? Straight to jail. <laughs> Send him to Brazil. God, I love that bit. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad someone else is a Parks and Rec fan. How does a cop make 50000 to to 100000 a year? I know, right? Something's a little sussy with that guy, Nightmare. He's not with Jay Munez, though. Just Jim Nunez. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they try to throw in red herrings like that. It's not unusual. Actually, yeah, that... that I don't know how much cops make a year. <laughs> I'm dyslexic. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprising. Uh, let's see here. Now we've got Catherine Woodward. This is the senator, by the way. This is the senator who's leading this whole thing. She's expecting a child, strong advocate for civil liberties, background in nonprofit, high profile DOL target. UN developmental statistics, gap reader, birdhouses, modern. Dissection of modern communism. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I know she's against the Liberty Act, right? I'm thinking the Mountain Mist for the baby's room. So I'll slightly blue one at Hendrix. That's right, I love it. Okay, not you. Uh, Patricia Neal is assembling her cronies. I'm fairly sure she's already in talks with the DOL. We need a smart organizer if we're going to stop this concerted campaign against us. Yo, excuse me? <laughs> Of those biddies. Anyone else watch the episode of Duck Dodgers where Duck Dodgers steals Tom Yone's voice to perform at a talent show? I don't think I've ever seen a single episode of Duck Dodgers. <laughs> Anybody else here? Also, do I like snakes? I lo freaking love snakes. Snakes are amazing. I have a little, uh, little snaky avatar. <laughs> uh, we need to be smart and organized, perform some dirty tactics, stay focused, stay firm. The ELA will not pass. So she hates the ELA. So we're going to flag communism here. And what else you got on your credit card history? A donation to UNICEF, reimbursement to B. Alton, not M. Alton. Purchase Girl Guides. Girl Guides? Do you think that's an escort? It feels like that might be an escort. <laughs> Beg you to watch this. Oh, coffee, I'm sorry. Uh, the clips, uh, not clips, Um, links are disabled in chat, unfortunately. Uh, if you drop it in... An escort for 18 bucks? Yeah. <laughs> it probably wouldn't show up on bank records either, would it? Um, yeah, I think you're right, Coffee. I think you're right. <laughs> Base salary for a police officer is like 50k. Okay, well, there we go. See, Dr. Pirate's got the uh, got the stats for us there. Oh yeah, you can just you can DM me the link. Um, either Discord, Twitch, Twitter, smoke signal, however you want to get me. I'm gonna I'm gonna leak a little bit of information about you. No intel worth leaking. What? Well, she... I don't... Okay, maybe it wasn't enthusiasm for, for communism, but she did buy a did buy a book. Or not buy a book. You bought a uh, website. All right, who do you have here? This is Patricia Neal. Tell Crane and the other friends of the DOL not to worry. I've been a supporter since my days in Florida as a councilwoman. I respect the work they do. The bill will pass. All right, so she supports us. We don't need to see anything else. He's getting some... A ton of political donations. What should I tell that guy from last night? Which guy? The escort? Yes, but which escort? All three, I suppose. Yo, Patricia Neal's a player. Good for her. God damn. <laughs> you can DM me your F list? Oh, no. <laughs> the girl guy is uh, not what you think it is. It's like Boy Scouts. Oh. <laughs> That's good to know. That's good to know. Let's see, you got an Art of War by Sun Tzu, a JS-6 Rifle, Persuasion Techniques by Gary Sneck. Yo, a Sneck? 
And uh, 34 boxes of Xanax. <laughs> oh, man. 34 boxes. Okay, good for you. And we're not leaking anything because she supports the uh, ELA. All right. I'm fairly certain we got one thing wrong on our big senator. But that's not a big deal. Yeah, see, we got we got one thing marked wrong. It was... Yeah, the dissection on modern communism, a study. So I guess that doesn't count as enthusiasm for communism, but it was... I mean, she was researching it. I don't know. What do you want me to do? How enthusiastic do you have to be? The other guy bought the Communist Manifesto, okay? Is that enthusiasm? I don't freaking know. He might not have read it. Anyway, I'm not mad. <laughs> she went twice. She went twice to the same page. That's enthusiasm. This whole operation feels kind of off, doesn't it? More than just kind of. So, what do we do about it? <sighs> For now, we keep quiet and do our jobs? It's around 100k in Portland. For whatever fucking reason. Yo, pretty, pretty pricey. Haven't watched uh, Duck Dodgers since I was a wee lad. Forgot how hard the theme went. Yo, Duck Dodgers has a good theme song? Hell yeah. Okay, sign me in. I mean, we're at we're at ten out of ten for all these guys. I don't. I'm gonna skip this for today. Let's keep it moving. Hey, look, it's Max. So you hung out with Charlie Douglas, the Charlie Douglas, as my hero. Yeah, how did that even happen? Uh, he appreciates some corporate espionage I did. Oh, we met at a party. Uh, or he's a friend of a friend. You know how small Washington is. Well, it's crazy anyway. If he needs a press contact, be sure to send him my way. Already ahead of you. Speaking of which, how's your expose coming along? With the ELA thing, uh, we've decided to focus more specifically on the DOL. Uh, why's that? Or, no, re really, really ellipsis. Let, let him say it. If we could only get an insider source. Uh-huh. Not gonna be me. Not gonna be me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 